Let's talk about jazz improvisation. Candice, who's the singer that really does it for you in terms of jazz vocal improvisation? I would say Ella Fitzgerald. She is fantastic at that, and her pitch is dead on. Her tone is dead on every time. I mean, it just blows me away every time I hear her sing. But I don't know, what do you ladies think? Like, who, who, who would you say is for you? Ella is definitely like wonderful in terms of like scatting mm -hmm. and that shabdi bop, right? Yeah. Just phrasing pitch. So, <laughs> Kayla, tell me what you mean when you say scatting, because people want to know. Okay, so scatting is when you do sort of like a, a vocalese rather than using words, you use syllables. So like. <laughs> Okay, yes, now, girl. can you, because you see, people want to know, those weren't words, Let's do a little of it without the bass. Let's hear exactly what you were saying. Okay. So, really only about two or three syllables, two or three things that you were saying and you mix them up. Yeah, and some people, like to do different syllables. They like to say, I, I like to stick with bop and boo, but some people say shoobity beep beep, some people do zip zip zap, you know, yeah, they like that. the z's. Yeah. <laughs> du, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I love it. Yeah, yeah. It's like kind of anything goes in a way, but you got to sing it from here to make it, mm -hmm. to make it work. What do you think, Taylor? Absolutely, you know, scatting just feels like that skipping down the street, you know. Girl, skipping down the street, you know, feeling that thing. You know, you're like, oh, okay, okay. So, so Taylor, where are the notes coming from? Because those notes aren't written on a piece of paper, are they? Yeah, the notes come from your soul. You know, it comes from the heart. That's it. Absolutely. You know, what comes from the heart reaches the heart. If you're feeling some type of way, you know, that's what you express. Say it. And sometimes you don't use words. You don't have a long sentence. You just have a syllable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, you two were just trading back and forth there. <laughs> yeah, and that's, that's another that's part of this, right? And instruments do it as well. So, yeah. like you and your. So you were doing as singers what a lot of people playing instruments do, which yep. is trade it back and forth, playing the riffs. Yep. And so you're being like an instrument. Your yeah. voice is an instrument. Absolutely, having that call and response dialogue. And, and that's really one of the reasons that really drew me to playing jazz, because there was this dialogue between instruments. It was very conversational to be able to play and support a piano or a basses or a horn player, but then also to interact with them. So if they do a line, ba, 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 da, ba, da, and then I go, -do 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 -ba -ah, you know, on the drum set to, you yes. know, compliment or to respond. And so, uh, as I was saying earlier, jazz, the genre is not just a genre, but a way of life. It's a lifestyle. Improvisation is a lifestyle. When the pandemic hit, we all started improvising. Yep. You know, we yep. all started playing jazz as a way of life. As a way of because life, Because we had to improvise and That's we had right. to create something out of nothing. And, you know, it's, it's just a matter of being able to uh, move how you move and interact with others and support others and compliment others. Girl, preach. Oh, I yeah. think I think you said it all. <laughs> all right. Come on, Kaylin. Feel up. <laughs> Thank you. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. That's our song. Come on.